Hello everyone, so in this video I'll just show you how you can edit your photos like Sahil Burke Also just like Tony Mahfoud or kind of similar color tone and a kind of smoothening of the skin in this photoshop So here is the photo which we gonna edit for our you know, today's concept So let's just select the photo with the help of quick selection tool And just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make the model image to be selected right so just uh, press minus button over here to deselect the portion now just right click on it and select layer copy option to make a duplication of the selection of the model now here we gonna first of all crop the image for our instagram ratio right so let's select the 80 to 10 ratio which is a perfect instagram ratio now we gonna just increase the size of the photo just like this let's increase some more size now this one is pretty perfect and just hit ok now the next thing we're gonna do is just to add a background to the photograph so let's just go to the file and let's just browse the background this background you can just download from the links down given in the description so here is the backlight background which we're gonna add to the photo this will actually make your photo to look more and more amazing so just go to the edit and select the free transform to transform it and enlarge the size of the photo let's just flip it in a horizontal way let's just increase the size of the photo let's just place it somewhere over here Now this one is making your photo to look more kind of amazing. So here let's keep this photo or the image as the perfect ratio for our background. So here we have made an adjustment of the photo. Now the next thing we gonna do is let's just crop the photo for the rest of the image. Now just hit OK. And now here just put the filter select go to the blur gallery and select the tilt shift just make sure you have select the background layer now I'm gonna just place this over here and just this area over here now I'm gonna just blur the background here you can see the more the blur you do the more the background would be blurred so you can just blur a little bit don't add too much of blur we just want to make the you know, background to look more clear so just add it to around 19 pixels and just hit ok so that you know in this you know, blur we have you know selected the black gallery and with the help of tilt shift you can see that uh, uh, we have only blurred the background air uh, the background you know mostly the background here you can see the minute details are seen perfectly which is a very perfect and a kind of amazing point of the photo editing which will make your photo to look more creative and kind of realistic so now the next thing we're gonna do is let's just go to the press ctrl l from the keyboard on the image of the model now here we're gonna just add more contrast to the photo and just bring some kind of details from here also let's add some more lightness from this portion and add some more darkness effect over here so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after we have enhanced the photo now the next thing we're gonna do is let's just blur the photograph right so this is a very important thing to blur the edges of the photo to in order to merge it with the background so select the blur tool select the soft round blur brush and select the strength to around 100 percent and just blur the edges of the model so that it may merge with the background and make it look more realistic So finally here we have done the process of blurring the edges and now all we're gonna do is let's just go to the here first of all we will add some kind of darkness effect in the photo so select the solid color and select the black tone and here select the layer mask select the brush tool 
and just make a stroke of the black on the foreground and just delete it in this portion now change the blending mode to multiply and just decrease the opacity of this and you can see the difference it is really looking kind of cool now here the you know we're gonna just make a perfect that uh, dodge and burn effect so let's just select this portion create a new layer select the uh, right click on it and select fill select the 50 percent gray from the contents and hit ok now here change the blending mode to overlay and now here we're gonna just make a perfect skin tone and kind of you know dodge and silver dodge and burn effect so select the dodge from here and here we're gonna just make the exposure to around 5 to 7 percent or 8 percent or something and here we're gonna just add some glittering dodging effect over here and also we're gonna just add on the nose region to enhance the photo and also we're gonna just add it somewhere over here Now this one is looking kind of very amazing this glittery sign let's add some dodge effect on the nose region now select the burn effect from here and make the exposure to around 4% and just add a burning over here And you can see the difference guys it is really looking very very amazing here's the before and here's the after it is really looking perfect now here the next thing we're gonna do is let's just keep this layer as it is and here we are gonna just place it above over here the next thing we're gonna do is let's just press ctrl u from the keyboard and just click on the hand icon on the model screen a model a model layer now select the red tone and just change the blending mode to around soft uh, gold skin tone so you can see the difference your white color is totally turned into kind of gold skin tone let's just decrease the saturation a little bit to around plus three and just increase a little bit to plus four and you can see the difference your skin is looking kind of gold effect So you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after and just hit ok so here was our dodge and bone layer now here guys we're gonna just go to the camera filter from here and here now just go to the HSL tab and select the saturation and just reduce the saturation of the green aqua blue also the purple color just make the pure red tone pure just just leave it as a yellow orange and red 
and just hit ok right now here we have achieved a pure perfect black color on the outfits now here we're gonna do is let's press ctrl u from the keyboard and just make a minus one or minus two this will make a very soft light of the you know photo and just now let's just let's open up this uh, snow particles just press copy and just hit over here by pressing ctrl v press ctrl t to enlarge the image just rotate it to 90 degree change the blending mode to screen now here we're gonna do is let's select the eraser tool and with the help of eraser we're gonna just erase the bigger particles from the photo so just delete or erase the bigger particles from the photograph with the help of eraser tool just like this way Now this one is looking very very amazing guys. Now let's just merge all the layers from here. Just right click on it and select merge layers. And again let's just crop the image once again. Let's go to the filter, select the camera filter from here. And from here we're gonna just increase the more contrast to the photo to enhance it and just decrease, increase some highlights reduce some shadows from the photo increase the whiteness a little bit and just decrease the blackness now we're gonna increase the clarity of the photo a little bit go to the effects tab add a vignette effect on the photo or just leave it as it is don't add a vignette effect and just hit ok now again we're gonna press ctrl j from the keyboard go to the filter select the camera filter and here we're gonna add a vignette effect right so let's just add a vignette effect and just hit ok now here add a layer mask on this photo select the brush tool and select the wire black on the foreground and just erase it from the top screen of the photo just like this way so you can see it is only affected on the bottom layer which we really want so now just merge both the layers again let's go to the filter select the camera filter from here and now we're gonna just go to the HSL tab select the hue and just select the yellow color and just make it to kind of you know you can see the difference by changing the slider you can see your photo is totally turning into kind of reddish gold which is very amazing now here also the green tone we're gonna just decrease the saturation of the green color and here the next thing we're gonna do is let's just go to the calibration tab and just move the slider a little bit to around minus 18 here again go to the HSL tab select the red the orange color and just make a skin tone now here guys we're gonna just go to the split toning and select the shadows to around 209 and increase the saturation of that shadows just make sure to get the perfect skin tone or the blackness shadow just like Sahel Burke. Okay. 
Now this one is looking kind of very uh, closer. Select the highlights and here we're gonna do is just select the highlights of the color that is of yellow tone. So just select the highlights and just you can see it is kind of looking very amazing. Let's increase the sharpness of the photo. And just hit OK. So finally here we have achieved a very perfect and similar tone. Now here let's again let's create new layer. Select the brush tool. And make sure you have selected the orange tone over here. And just give a one stroke of the color over here. Change the blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl T from the keyboard. And we're gonna place this somewhere over here. Again let's just press Ctrl U and just make a little bit of adjustment to kind of redness and just increase the lightness and you can see the difference it is really looking very very amazing guys and we're gonna just place it somewhere over here so it may look like original backlight photo again let's just create new layer select the brush tool and select the white color over here and give a one stroke of that color change the blending mode to screen press ctrl t from the keyboard and we're gonna just place it somewhere over here now this will actually make your photo to look more realistic so let's just place it somewhere over here and this is making your photo really very very amazing guys let's just fill it a little bit really this photo is looking very very guys dope now if you want to add still more you can add the dodge or burn effect and let's just add some burn effect over here to enhance the skin tone and you can see the difference guys this dodging and burning effect is really making your photo to look more and more amazing the silver effect Let's add some door burn effect over here. And you can see the difference guys. Now let's just merge all the layers. And just hit OK. Let's just crop once again. So here is our final photo. With kind of perfect skin tone gold effect. And kind of perfect you know like skin tone like Tony Mefu that also the Sahel Burke uses this kind of effect in his photo so you can see the difference guys here is the before and here is the after so guys I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button and if you still not subscribe to our channel then kindly do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashvillecreations.com from there you're gonna find new backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, lots and many more cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. Also visit our second website which we're gonna launch soon that is filterpreset.com. So stay tuned on that website also and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram just type Ashfield Creations. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video. Till then guys be creative and be awesome.